What's up guys? I'm nobody special. And uh, it's Saturday. My girls are at Girl Scout camp. So I got the place all to myself today. So I am taking advantage of the time to catch up on some yard work. And I tell you, if my neighbors didn't think I was weird already, I'm out here filming myself pulling weeds in my front yard. I'd imagine from a third party perspective, this looks pretty weird. But the things we do for YouTube. And I promise there's a message in here too. You see, you know, I, I do all right. I don't consider myself rich, but I, I do consider myself very lucky, very fortunate, and I live pretty comfortable. And I could very easily sit back in my nice house and get fat while I watch other people labor in my house. As a matter of fact, that's what I did quite a bit when I first bought this place. I didn't sit back and watch other people labor in my house, but I did let myself get fat. Something I corrected last year. And there's a couple of reasons why I do this myself. And you know my motto here is live small, dream big. And what I'm doing right now is a very big part of live small. Because I find doing this kind of miserable work, and it is miserable, I got stuff biting me, crawling on me right now. This is miserable work. I'll probably be finding ticks on myself when I'm done here. I have to pull them off. But it's a way to keep myself grounded. So I remember when I was young, when I first got my job as a pool man, I worked for my uncle's pool store. And my boss there was a really cool guy, hardest worker I ever met. And Man, he used to beat the crap out of me. And I don't mean that like in an aggressive way. He did it because he liked me. At least that's what he told me. I believed him. He kind of knew I was college bound, you know, but at this point, I was headed off to engineering school pretty soon. And he always told me that he was showing me how the other half lived. And... He used to drill it into my head, never forget it, never forget it. Always remember where you came from. Don't let it go to your head. Don't be one of those pompous, arrogant a-holes. Keep your head out of the clouds, or as he would put it, keep your head out of your ass. And that lesson stuck with me. So, I like to do stuff like this for a lot of reasons. Number one, saves me money. Not a lot of money. I mean, hiring a gardener isn't the most expensive thing in the world, but it is money. And the fact that I do this myself in my spare time saves me some money, frees up more money for me to invest. So that helps. Everything you do yourself that you don't have to pay someone else to do is money that you could use to buy precious metals and preserve that wealth or invest in the market or start a side gig. But it's also a psychological exercise. Keeps you grounded. Keeps your head out of your ass. Look at this. God, I hate these weeds. It's called pokeweed. These things grow roots like sweet potatoes. And they have real weak stalks, so you can't just pull them. You gotta really dig them up. And man, if you miss it, it'll be back. And I can see already on this one, it's got a stump where a stalk used to be. But I finally got it. I see we've met before, old friend. These things. Doing constant battle with these things. Keeps you grounded. And uh, well, it's just something, something to keep in mind. You know, if you're watching this channel, chances are you're on the more successful side of things, or at least, you're heading that way because you've taken the time where you could be watching videos about the Kardashians or football or whatever, or could be in your basement playing video games, but instead you're watching some idiot pull weeds in his front yard while he records himself. 
but you're investing that time in yourself and eventually I think you will be successful don't let it go to your head stay humble keep your head out of your ass keep your head out of the clouds look at this this is another one this is called hedge bindweed and it smothers my azaleas I've been struggling with this thing since I bought the place So if it's not these pokey nettles or the pokeweed or the hedge bindweed, just coming out here and doing battle with a couple of weeds, showing some pride and ownership in your home, showing the world that you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, keeps you grounded, keeps you level, and I think it'll make you a better person, and it'll make you a better investor. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm going to keep pulling these weeds. Got a long way to go. There are no shortage of weeds in this garden. Hopefully we get some rain tonight. These guys will perk up. All right, until next time, live small, dream big.